Hey everybody. Hi. Welcome to Keeping It Real with Susan and, and Shalise. Shalise. I forgot what our name was. <laughs> I know, it's been a while since we filmed. So we we only film once a month-ish and we couldn't even, what, it's been like six weeks because we both had stuff going on. So yeah. it's been a minute and I forgot the name. <laughs> But you remembered it right away. You didn't stumble over it. You just said it slowly I just and very like slow. with with, with flow. grace. Hey. <laughs> That's graceful. right. I gracefully remembered our name. So what's been going on with you? You have a retreat you're doing, and it's full. Yes, I'm so excited about that. We are down in St. George, so I'm with my friend Holly Hope. And awesome. yes, down in St. George, we've got this amazing Airbnb mansion house that we filled up and there's a pool and we're doing so many fun activities. We're, we're ripping open the, the womb wounds from women. Womb uh, wounds. Yeah. It's going to be, like something good for me. it's going to be intense. It's going to yeah. be really healing and, and really, really good. I'm really excited. I've been wanting to do a retreat for years and we've talked about that for a long time yeah. and it's finally yeah. happening and that's yeah. awesome <laughs> that's really so, cool yeah what about you you have some fun stuff going on as well i have a new session i'm doing that's based it's energy i'm kind of moving more to the energy sector than astrology which it's kind of the same thing but most yeah. people don't know that because energy can come from so many different things planets or angels you know or whatever and they're all parallel so i'm just i'm doing this new session where i guide people through their energies through you have to they have to buy three sessions and they have to do them like every two to four weeks That's and cool. then they can keep after that they can keep getting it what i'm doing is though i'm grandfathering them in which i'm stupid <laughs> so i had thought that i thought about this and i kept thinking i don't know if i'm comfortable with it and I'm but yeah I for $55 an hour oh. and as long as you have a session within after the first three within three months you get to keep that mm -hmm. price and I'll tell you what they take me right now about an hour and a half ish of preparation and then an hour and a half ish after and then the session itself so it's like four hours Wow. And yeah, that price is ridiculous. Yeah. I, but that's like, I always go, I always think, well, I just won't take as much time. And then, <laughs> and <do>. then you do. <laughs> so if you book by the end of April, you get that $55 an hour and the energies, I mean, you know, how many times do we have up days and down days and medium days and they're always changing. So what's been really cool is I'm guiding people through that. Nice. Because in my life, tell me how you are. So when when you make a dis when I've made decisions in my life that someone told me to do or pushed me, I've regretted them. Those yep. are the decisions I regret. When I'm actually like thinking about my own stuff and making my own decisions, I've never regretted those. Even if they've turned out horribly, it was yeah, still it solely was based learning. on me. So that's yeah. what I'm kind of transferring to that. Instead of, I feel like I, with my clients, how long have I been talking? Long time. <laughs> I like, we give, the, I give them this awesome session. These are the energies that are happening. This, this, this. Bye. Good luck. And then. Yeah. And so I feel like I'm just dropping them off on the sidewalk. See ya. Good luck in life. <laughs> <laughs> and I don't want to do that anymore. I really, I want, I want everyone on this planet to be happy and healthy. And because as we do that, like your retreat. Mm hmm you're helping people, you know? Yeah. That's my goal. That we're all kind, loving souls. Well, and we all have so much stuff that we're working on and Yeah. And yeah. and everything. And some are more intense than others at times and and some are, you know, just just their daily just of their daily stuff. Shows up. <laughs> it's okay. It is a male voice that I think I recognize. <laughs> <laughs> My house is like this with children. <laughs> anyway, okay, go on. <laughs> no, you're fine. I really don't know who's here. <laughs> Do you want to find out? Um, no, let's just keep going. Okay. <laughs> 
See, these are the these are the fun parts of of our of our show that you know we just let keep going. Um, maybe. <laughs> so hey, anyway, yes. <laughs> you're gonna hear yeah. me belt out in a second. Be quiet. <laughs> okay, go ahead. Yes. Okay, so um, yeah. Um, hmm. What was I? Oh, you're talking about healing. Uh, we all go through stuff, and yeah, we all right. we're all going through something. You yeah. know, so I work for a chiropractor right now who is the most magical chiropractor I've ever been to. Oh, I've been through a lot, and that's cool. Even though obviously my healing is a slow process, it's really been been helping physically for me and mentally too. Because you know, when you're in pain. We were just talking about this when you're in pain everything else is crap yeah very true there's so. not patience there's you're grumpy and you react to things very differently yeah so it's really cool that i get to help people too because i'm not just behind a desk like i get to go and be part of their their physical therapy process that they go through as well and so that's oh, that's, awesome. that's yeah, yeah it's been really cool and i love it and it's helping me because part of the perks of working there is that i get to be worked on myself all the time. And so he's not only, you know, just adjusting me, he also is putting me on like a workout routine to help strengthen me from like the ground up, like a wow. slow process. Yeah. But um, I've been losing weight, I've been losing inches, I've been like feeling better. And even though like yeah. it's not it's gone, because it's like in that shirt. Oh, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> like earlier, wow, that's a good one. <laughs> um, but yeah, so it's been really cool. So I get to have that hands-on thing. But one of my one of our patients came in yesterday and was saying that you know she's been she's older mm -hmm. and she's like you what know what does I've, older mean? To oh, you? she's in her like seventies. Okay, <laughs> and that could be me. She said maybe sixties, sixties, seventies. Um, but she was saying, you know, she, she feels really blessed because even though she has things that have happened in her life, she's never had to really deal with extremes. Mm. And my coworker and I looked life. at her and we were like, you are very blessed. <laughs> like that was, I'm all, huh. And we just kind of sat there and nodded like, how would it be? Yeah. I've heard there are people like that in the world. Yeah. I just. I haven't yeah. seen it with me. And I mean, yeah. she has her themes. Like, it's Absolutely. not like her life is is perfect, but right, right, but it right. definitely is. I was just like, huh, that's really that's really something to be grateful for. And she was, which was nice to see because you know sometimes people can take people that. People don't and know take that they have that though because they've yeah. never had different. That's what I see a lot in people and clients is like they don't stop. And maybe I don't either, and really take an inventory of what life is for them and me and what there is to be grateful for. Mm. And honestly, there are things I'm not grateful for. Yeah. And I don't have to be. So, yeah. <laughs> you know, I I think I think that's a good thing. So take a couple of minutes, press pause and do a quick inventory of your life. Like what are you grateful for? What do you have? What are the blessings you've been given that you feel are blessings, you know, not what you're told are your blessings. And then, you know, go ahead and take a few moments and just say, I'm not really thankful for this one or this one. <laughs> That's okay too. It's admitting it that helps us, you know, digest that. And I, I feel like our body calibrates and our mind calibrates when we actually accept our true feelings about something. Well, and I, I agree with you too. And I also think that one of the things that are so good about having that activity of, of gratitude and really focusing, even like I like to try to do it daily. Like, what am I grateful for? Mm -hmm. Because mm -hmm. when you focus on what you're grateful for, that's what your focus remains oh, on. And when you focus yeah. on like everything that's going wrong, not saying don't feel it, not saying all of these things. Like I'm 100% with what you're saying. I'm just reiterating that it's just both. what you Real focus cool. on is what, is, is how your your life starts to go mm -hmm. and and even though like there's a lot of hard things that we deal with in our lives I feel like the majority of the time we do focus on what we're grateful for Absolutely. and the things we have and how we can move through these processes rather than mm -hmm. how we are stuck and how we can't move and we we don't we're not in that victim mentality for not long right periods now. of time <laughs> but but we not, don't like that's not our uh, that's not who you are you're not a victim no, I, you have moments, oh, which is absolutely. fine, right. 
My but, bed's seen a lot. Yeah. <laughs> but that's not that's not how we live. That's not our mindset. No, you just got to keep going. But I, I think it's cool, like what you said, and you guys tell us what you do to remain grateful and think about things. I, I do think there's that fine line, like you said, like don't guilt trip yourself if you're not grateful for some things. Like yeah. I will never be grateful that I raised my four kids on my own, ever. I'll never be grateful for that. Have I done it? And I think done it well and experienced. There are things in it I love, but do I wish my kids could have their dad for forever? I will, you know, wish that. What is cool though, like we would sit at the dinner table after he died and I can't remember we did it before he was alive, when he was alive or not, but it we would always have dinner together. That's something that I always felt really strongly about and I miss greatly. But we would go around the table and we'd have to say five good things about our day. And, you know, they couldn't be, I liked gym. I liked history. I was like, nope, that's the same thing. Yeah. <laughs> I liked school, which they never said history. <laughs> but it made them, like you said, it, it does. It makes you stop. And I have a gratitude journal that, you know, and it makes you, as you're going through the day, and I saw this with my kids, my, my like, awesome, awesome male testosterone boys they would stop and and say to themselves oh i can use that at dinner nice and when you're not when you're not focusing on that kind of stuff daily like yeah. you said a lot of those things slip by yeah well and i i kind of have a different take on on my tragedy though too and like a lot of the tragedies that i've had like i'm not obviously grateful that my son died <laughs> but right. i am grateful for the opportunity that I have now because of what I've learned from it. Oh, I mean, I'm, I'm a totally different person than I would be. Yeah. yeah. Yep. Absolutely. So there's, you know, I, a lot of it is perspective. Mm -hmm. A lot of it is mindset and moving. Yeah. I just, I have a hard time ever saying like, I'm grateful that my children don't have a, have their dad. So, but there's a way that you can, you you can see that and and I know you do that there there's a different way to look at things like I said perspective there's a different way to say like they are who they are because of the the experiences that they've had and because of the the trials and the heartaches and the hardships that like they that's something to be grateful for because of how they've turned out and it's just I mean they could have turned out better. I don't know that. Maybe. So what, or, what I what I'm loving about this though, because this is one of our we're clashing. Yeah. <laughs> because this is what I feel like society has some wounds with is accepting those other feelings over here. You know, just like I feel like we are to a point, I'm gonna say like brainwashed to we have to be grateful for everything and we have if i think something negative it's going to come back and bite me in the ass and oh god i feel guilty for this when i when i'm working with clients and stuff and really give them that i say okay tell me something you're not grateful for then there is a release it is okay and so I love this dynamic that we're doing because yeah, there's always a different perspective. But being able to say like, yeah, I don't, I don't like that. I'm never gonna like that is a very freeing thing inside of me as well. So and that could be because I definitely get dark too. Like I have my dark moments. That's where not a I dark moment for me. That's just like, like a, I'm not grateful for that. That's not dark to to me. It's right. just a fact for me. Well, and, and I, I hear what, I hear that. And that's, I guess that's just. The, I love our conversation. I know. <laughs> we do this off camera. Probably better. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, because I definitely hear what you're saying too. And that's what I'm saying. Like, I agree with you a hundred percent. And that's, that's the, that's the place where I'm not disagreeing with you. And I'm, I I'm not also saying that we should mask our feelings by just saying, oh, I have gratitude and feel guilty for not feeling grateful for things. That's, that's not it. What I'm saying is, like we've talked about before in, in even past conversations on our, our show, is that being grateful in the journey, having gratitude that we got the opportunity to experience the journey. 
And that is, is where my mind goes more often than it goes the other way. Because when I get dark, I get to the, all the things that I'm pissed off about or that I wish was different. And when I start going down that path, I can spiral. So Sometimes the spiraling is, is good. Dark. Like why? Because now we're going like light dark, right? Why isn't why why isn't dark just as appreciated? Oh, it is as light. It is okay. for sure, for okay. sure. I need those moments because just like the hard and, and I guess that's why I'm like if I weren't given the hard things that I was given in my life, I wouldn't fully appreciate all the good things that I've been given mm -hmm. as well. Oh yeah, like. I mean, my kids don't leave or someone I love like you does not leave my sight or my presence or even on the phone without me saying, love you. Yeah. And people say like, well, you just get used to saying that. You're mm -hmm. just saying that. Not me. Yeah. <laughs> Every time I say it, I mean it. It's like, yeah. I love you. Yeah. 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 Sorry. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well, really cool. We're going to take a short break. Oh, is it that time? It's already that time. Oh, <laughs> and we'll pick up where we left off okay. when we come Thank back. You. All right. Hello and welcome back to Keeping It Real with Susan and Shalise. Yay. <laughs> um, I think it's cool the conversation we, we had. I just, so I'm going to explain a little more. I think there's a spectrum. And over here is like joy, happiness, love, all of that. And over here is like sadness, anger, jealousy, whatever. And as we allow ourselves to fill some of these, I feel like our bandwidth grows for these. And I feel yes. like that's what you're saying too. Yes. Like, okay, so when I'm over here, whatever, and I accept it and I love it and I, I actually love it. I love doing it. There are some days I'm like, I just need to go feel the, the anger, like and let myself release it. And then I do it. What what I have found, it takes like 30 minutes to release an emotion like anger, sadness, whatever. Like I can't cry longer than 30 minutes usually or oh, get mad longer than 30 minutes. But as I do that, then I at, when I'm done, I am like clear over here Yeah. with, oh, but I have this or I have this. Yeah. And I'm mad about this, but it taught me this. Yeah. So I see the, the width of like these going up. What I do notice in people that don't allow themselves to do this, they suppress it. Mm -hmm. They're only like right here. Right. The ability to really feel the joy and love and happiness. It, it's not full. And then they go right. back there so much quicker. Yeah. It's that like boink, boink. <laughs> what was that noise? <laughs> boink, boink. <laughs> boink. <laughs> but then you're not feeling complete joy and bliss and happiness. <laughs> For a second. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. yeah. No, it, it is interesting how emotions and, and how we, we move through them and, and how we we see our our trauma and, and tragedies and situations and experiences <laughs> and all of Like how things. long can you guys feel? I'm gonna ask her, but you guys throw it out there too. Like how long can you be really mad for or as, if you're paying attention to it? Now, here's when you can hold on to it is when you're trying to push it down. Mm -hmm. So I like have a rule. I feel it twice. It used to be three times, but by twice, I'm like, this anger isn't about the anger. I'm, I'm pissed off at this and I'm pissed off That's at really this. It's really good, I'm actually. Like, hmm, it's not about that. It's I'm mad at something. Mm -hmm. So now I send myself to my room. Gosh, I wish I would have enjoyed being sent to my room <laughs> when so I was much as a child. <laughs> Please send me to my room. <laughs> Rick and I used to tag team with the kids, right? And he'd send me to my room. I'd be like, okay. Yeah. I need to go to my room. I anyway. think I need to start doing that again. <laughs> How long are you able to sit in those really, as long as you're paying attention to them, those deep, extreme. You know, I actually have never timed myself because um, I am a little bit different than you. A lot of times for me, 
like movement, like literally moving True. through, yeah. like going on a walk, going on stuff, going kickboxing, mm -hmm. whatever. When I used to do that, like kickboxing was, whew, that was the best. Yeah, yeah walks <laughs> are good because I let my brain. Mm -hmm. Those aren't, I'm not really pissed off on walks though. I'm deeply integrating or processing. I don't see, and I, I think some of my, my, things don't like I said I don't I don't sit down and just process necessarily like like you do and say I'm feeling angry I probably mm -hmm. should do that more often than I do but I get wrapped up and I get busy and then my mind starts wandering and I write yeah well, that's a good one yeah that's and so I, I guess maybe that you know and I can sit down if I have time <laughs> mm -hmm. but but a lot of time, like last night actually I woke up at one o'clock in the morning and I couldn't stop thinking and so I had to make notes and then I got to go, then I finally went back to bed because I'm like, this is going to leave my head if I don't stop thinking about it. Yeah. And so I'm like, nope, I am. I need to get some sleep tonight. And so I made some notes. And then this morning I got up and I wrote. That's and, awesome. And I actually was writing about triggers that, um, or, or what I thought I should be mm -hmm. and who I programmed my, my own brain, who, what I created in my own life of who I should be rather than who I really am. Mm -hmm. So cool. uh, this actually, I wanted to bring up because I think wow. it's something really important and something mm -hmm. that was huge for me in my own processing because yeah. I've always been the fixer in my family. It's huge, yeah. I've always been the caregiver in my family. I've been a caregiver, I've done CNA work, I've done in-home health care, I've done a lot of, of that and what I realized as I, because through my life and especially losing Caleb, this was a huge, huge part of this where I had to separate from anyone that needed me to take care of and <laughs> drop it mm -hmm. okay. and totally put up my walls and totally be like, nope, done. Yeah. And so now I have this amazing partner and he's like, I can pick up the slack. If you're feeling overwhelmed, I'll just do it for you and it will be it will make you feel better. Well, what it's done is not made me feel better. Isn't that funny? It is <laughs> because then I go Cause into that about? Yeah. <laughs> exactly. Like, oh, so that's then I me. but then I go into like but wait a minute, why is this not making me feel better? Because I know that that's his intention, but I'm not used to being taken care of for one or allowing people to take care of me. Not used to that at all. So letting someone do something for me is a huge trigger anyway, because I'm like, I can do it myself. I don't need no man. <laughs> I don't need no- I hear that a like, lot from women. Yeah. A lot of women actually have a strong fear of allowing someone to yes. take care of them. Yes. Because what happens when it's pulled out from underneath. Exactly. And most of us have had it pulled out. Or they get, they start to get to that point where it's like, oh, now I'm going to start resenting you yeah. because I'm doing all these things for you. So, I mean, these are stories I'm making up in my head. These aren't necess These aren't what's really happening. So, because I've been do like I've had so much healing through my mm -hmm. years, mm -hmm. I'm now at that point where I'm like, holy cow! Like I real, I see it coming up, mm -hmm. and like I'm like, okay this is the story that's coming out of, of my head right now. I understand that this is not what's happening, but I need you to be aware of this because when I start to freak out or have a panic attack or shut down, cause that's my, that's my go-to is more like, I'm going to shut down. Yeah, it's and that's why it's hard. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and I'm like, that's, but now, so then luckily he'll, he like sometimes, and he'll get frustrated too. He's like, I just want to be me. And I'm like, no, you are being you and I get that. And this is not about you right now. <laughs> like we'll get to you in a minute, but first. <laughs> I but, think that's so like, that's something I've struggled with too. Like since, at least since, you know, Rick died, I'm like, well, I'm going to do it myself. Mm -hmm. I'm never going to be put in a position yep. to be so taken off guard or my whole life turned upside down. Mm -hmm. So I'm just going to make sure everything is on me and I'm taking care of all of it. And I mean, yeah, I went on a trip last week or a couple weeks ago to like Havasu and I've been having health issues to where I couldn't. Shut the lamp 
Hi. <laughs> um, to where I couldn't. There was things I couldn't do and was very well taken care of and felt guilt and um, panic. Like guilt and panic. Like, oh my God, I'm letting someone take care of me. Yeah. I'm letting someone when I'm not. And it mm -hmm. was... It was interesting. Well, so. and the other feeling that I had that came up was not only what am I being taken care of and that feeling, but also I, my value for my mm -hmm. family and people mm -hmm. in past relationships have always mm -hmm. been to take care of them. To take care of them. Interesting. And this is what I do. And I cook dinner and I do laundry and I clean and I do this and I take care of my family and I do this and that and that and that. All these things, it's on me. Mm -hmm. So you're trying to take that away from me. Where does my value even lie anymore? Like, okay, I know I do things, but if I'm not doing everything, am I doing enough? Yeah, well, how so, many of you guys, yeah. what do you, what do you struggle with as far as this goes? Do you let other people be there for you? If you do, why, how, if you don't, why, how, you know, that, I think it's a, it's a really big one. I am getting better, but it's a process. Yeah, it's same. not going to happen overnight. Mm -hmm. So thank you for being patient with me. Because <laughs> you watch these? Yeah. Hi. <laughs> That's awesome. but, but I think it's good, like, especially as women. And that's one of the things it's like, we feel we have such that maternal instinct that we feel like being taken care of sometimes is is us not doing enough or not being enough because mm -hmm. our whole identity is is wrapped in, around it and it's undoing those stories and creating new ones. Mm -hmm. Well, but the first step that I find awesome in what you're saying is awareness. Yeah. And and so Going back to what we were saying about the feelings and the spectrum and you've had to allow yourself to be over here mm -hmm. to find the awareness of what's going yeah. on. Because if you don't find that, you're not able to even grow this, yeah. which is oh, allowing for sure. him to do stuff for you. Exactly. Allowing, you know, dinners. I had almost every meal made for me for a week. It was awesome. Yeah. <laughs> well, and he, like, I'll awesome. come home from work now since we're both working, and he'll already have dinner made because he gets done earlier than me. And I'm like, okay. What I am mean, I it's... supposed to do? Yeah. <laughs> but, I mean, it is, like, in the moment, it's easier to accept. It's when I really sit there and be like, what is going on in my, my head right now? Like, mm -hmm. why am I starting to be like, I'm not doing enough. I'm not doing enough. I'm not, am, am, I, am I contributing it? Am I contributing enough? Am I being a good enough woman? Am I, you know, giving back? Because I'm all about that equal exchange of energy. And what if I'm not giving? Oh, but you know what the coolest thing is though, is that I am actually, I feel the most, which is funny why this is coming up because I feel the most balanced and the most joy in my life that I have ever felt in my entire life, oh, entire awesome. life. Good. I've never been even the the bad days. I'm like, this is a this is my new bad day. <laughs> like, That's awesome. This, <laughs> <it's> like, <laughs> I'm all. What is this? Yeah. Like, okay, I can just tell you I'm having a bad day, and you like accept that. <laughs> like, I don't have to pretend. And it's okay. I, and I'm okay. And I like going. Yeah, 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 I like going awesome. to work, and I have a boss who's like super understanding and like we're a team at work we're a team at home we're like what is happening <laughs> some weird feeling yeah <laughs> that's very cool so anyway yeah all right i think this one's good it's about emotions and if you feel them and how you work through them and are you even aware do you take the time and if you're not i know a couple of they're not they're not watching this all right <laughs> that's true <laughs> Unless there's someone in my family who's... <laughs> <laughs> who, who wants to, to be a good family member and a good support. Yeah, and yeah. I have those too. But. <laughs> but no, I think that, you know, if if you are watching this and, and there are things that you're stuck at or places that you're stuck and you want to to move to the next level, then go ahead and reach out to Susan and or <laughs> like, or me and yeah. we can we can work through these moments. Yeah. And, 
these sessions have been awesome because it's like I can tell people, well, this is what's going on here. Like you're you're a forest fire burning up and feels like shit, but you're getting rid of dead weight. So yeah, <laughs> you never have to go through it again. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I'm excited really cool. for your retreat, and you guys follow her, figure out when the next one is, and go to it. Oh. I'm sure it's fabulous. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> All right, okay. well, Love you guys. have a lovely week, and we'll we didn't have our guest on this time, but right. next, next time. week our guest is coming up. So yep. we're excited. All right, okay. have a good one. Thanks. Bye bye. <laughs>